acknowledged that there were disclosures beforehand and that some of those some of those disclosures were not put before the court and one of those key pieces of evidence was a letter i mentioned it in our last episode that eric had written to his cousin andy kano this is the new evidence it is a letter sent by eric menendez to his cousin andy kano eight months before the murder so that would have been back in december of 1988 in that letter it detailed his father's abuse. The letter was discovered allegedly or apparently several years ago by a family member and was never presented in court. Now in it, Eric says in part, it's still happening, Andy, but it's worse for me now. I never know when it's going to happen and it's driving me crazy. Every night I stay up thinking he might come in. I need to put it out of my mind. Also included in the petition, a signed affidavit by Roy Rosello, a former member of the boy band Menudo. He claims that he too was raped by Jose Menendez, who at the time was an executive with RCA Records. Now that letter was found in Andy's possession. Now he unfortunately died and it's seemingly he died, took too many sleeping pills and he died because of that. But actually, Eric had told him an awful lot about what had been going on. And I believe that Andy was psychologically burdened and tortured by what he knew. So I can't possible. say whether that, yeah, it's possible. I don't know whether that was a suicide or whether he genuinely did take those pills, but it's a big burden for someone to bear a secret because Andy was told by Eric, please don't tell anybody else.